Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today, guys, we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved. Today, guys, we are back on the Cross Ark series, and today, guys, we are going to go ahead and finish off this build here. Um, yeah, this this platform has been sitting empty for a very long time, and I think it's about time we actually finally finished the thing. Uh, let's go ahead and head over here. So what prompted me to finally work on finishing this last little part of the build here is that this morning I found a level six uh, UD female. So um, yeah, we have this uh, UD female here. She is tamed up at level eight. I forgot to knock down the levels, but still um, very, very low stat values, which is fantastic because now we can downbreed oxygen and then start some UD breeding. But I've been using my workshop area as sort of a pseudo breeding area for ages. I have sabers and rexes and argies and all sorts of things in here. Um, and it's finally just a little too crowded. There is no room for UD. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish off that area over there and we're going to make it the official hatchery. Um, I have a number of ideas about how I'm going to do this particular build. Uh, fingers crossed that it actually works out. We're going to do our best. Um, let's go ahead and take all of these. I'm going to put a bunch of stuff on blue here to carry it over. All right, this. Um, I know I'm going to want some of these pillars. All right, there we go. Um, hopefully this will do for now. All right, fingers crossed this all works out well in terms of the build. Um, I would like it to be a nice, easy build. All right, let's go ahead and grab these. And I do have a lot of, uh, I do have a lot of baby basilos on me at the moment. So this one, I'm kind of thinking I want it to look very similar to that. Um, yeah, very similar to the building over there. I'm debating whether I want this wall to be wood, but I know I want these ones to be all glass. So let's go ahead and start with this. I want these to be greenhouse walls. I do like having a view of the Hidden Lake. It's just wonderful. So I am going to keep these. The same theme I have going on in the rest of the build, where it's just a lot of S-plus greenhouse walls. Um, and then this side, you know what? We're, we're going to do the whole thing as greenhouse walls. Why not? It'll be a very transparent build, but I'm kind of okay with that. And we're going to go four high on everything. So I'm probably going to have to go make more of these. But that's totally fine. I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of cementing paste cooking up at the moment. So we should be able to make it just fine. Um, and then let's see about placing these pillars where I want them to go. Oh, I'd totally forgotten about the pillar placement. How did I do it before? I actually forget how I did it on the other builds. Um, mm, I hate pillar placement. It's actually awful. There should be a way to get it to snap to the corner here. Did I use fence foundations? I might have used fence foundations. <laughs> that might be the way to go. Um, let me check over here. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I used fence foundations on these to snap them to the corners because they don't naturally snap to the edges of the triangle foundations which is super frustrating but there you go uh so i might have to grab some of those as well but it should be fine because i have rather a lot of them there we go oh of course fine toss them in the direction of my bird this is the worst part of building is trying to move the mats around sometimes here we go. There, hold all those for a moment. All right, and then let's go grab some cementing paste to make sure that's all going well. I have a fair amount of it going. I think I'm gonna need more stone too. There's a lot going on with this particular build. Um, 89, I don't know if I need that many. We'll make 40 more for now. I think we're gonna need more than that, but it's a start. Okay. Um. Cool, so let's go start this pillar business. Basically, I have to build this from the ground up, and I am going to need to get a gate as well. 
All right, so let's go ahead and yeah, pick that up and pick this up. Oh, I really don't want to fall down here. That would be bad. All right, let's just take like five of these for now. All right, um, I want it to be as even as possible. Okay, now let's see if we can't get it to... That, that was definitely not what I wanted. Um, pick it up. That is not my building gun. Do I have a building gun on me? I do. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and R select. Where's the building? Structure? Pick. Demo. Pick. Okay, cool. Got it all figured out. Had to redo a bunch of stuff. Um... They're just crooked enough that it's not going to quite work. Okay. Well, that sucks. Um, okay. okay. Can I get this to go just right? I doubt it. You never know. Okay, maybe that will work. Maybe that will work. I have no idea. Um... All right, well, it's unfortunate, but I think I actually have to pick up this whole lower round of things so that I can do the fence foundations. Got ahead of myself here on the build a little bit, but that's okay, it happens. All right. Can we snap this correctly? Oh no, it's so crooked. There we go. All right. This one is relatively straight, but again, it's just crooked enough. I don't think it's quite going to work. Actually, I don't even think they have to be that perfect now that I'm thinking about it. It might not even have to be that perfect. Let me see here. Um, let me grab a pillar. There we go. Does that work? Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Can we... Ah. Okay. That's acceptable. That's acceptable to me. I'm just gonna cheat. It's not gonna be the most beautiful thing ever, but it will get these placed kind of where I want them, and that is the goal. There we go. Can I target that? Okay. That's better. All right. And then let's do one more foundation. Yeah, fence foundation like here. I'm going to get it as close to these corners as I can without it being a problem. Um... All right, and then I think I need one more pillar. This is honestly going to be the hardest part of the build, I think, is getting the uh, the pillars placed. Yeah, definitely is. Okay. All right. I am relatively happy with that. Let's see. Over there, I have a few more pillars per... Do I need pillars in the center of these? No, they're just going to be massive greenhouse walls. Uh... We'll see how it looks. I may have to go back and change it later, um, depending on how I feel about it, but that's okay. Um, I actually am going to pick up this first. There we go. Eh. Okay. Yeah, that's going to look good. Um, let's grab... Let's actually go back over. I think what I need to do is grab some small pillars now. I don't know if this is going to look right. These pillars might be... These walls are kind of big to not have, like, a pillar in the middle. You know what? You know what? I'm just... 
I have to. I I have to fix it. Um Okay. <laughs> I literally cannot make myself do this. Uh let's see, it's one, two, three. I gotta put a pillar in the middle here. It's just too wide without it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is this one nine walls wide? What's dead center? Like right here. Hold on, is this actually nine walls wide? Because that's a little too many. Five. Four. Yep, five. So that's nine walls. That's inconvenient. This one is one, two, three. That one's only eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that one's seven. Wow. Man, I built this platform really stupid, didn't I? Um. <laughs> that's okay. I'm going to make it work. Uh, let's see. We'll just have to divide this into thirds. We'll do it every three. Is it straight enough to snap here? Not quite, but I can do this. Okay, so this is going to be the new plan for this. One there, and one there. There we go. So on this wall, it's every three. It's not a perfect build, but you know, you make adjustments. Um, and then three, one, two, three. Yeah, so here I'm gonna do one just right in the middle of these. So it'll be every four. It's not gonna be dead dead even, which is probably going to bother me, but you know, we do what we do. We, we did our best, and we'll call it good. Uh, put that away. There we go. Make sure I don't accidentally pick up something. I have no idea what was going on with the placements there, but I hate it. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's so uneven. Oh. Oh, I can't stand it. Oh, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. I actually despise it. Is it better without them? You know what? It might be better without them. I just... Oh, the debates. Um, I want to do that really bad because this is a long wall not to have anything, but there's no way to put it dead center, and it's going to look weird. It's just going to look too weird if we do it any other way. So let's go. Let's go get some small pillars and glass walls. <laughs> too much of a strange build for me, guys. Building always... Makes me a little bit crazy. Um, okay, let's actually grab these. Can I move? Barely. Alright, we gotta drop all this. Grab all of the greenhouse walls. Eh. And get three small pillars, which is not very many. Um, I also want a stone gateway. Because I don't have one already. I didn't have one already. Perfect. Awesome. Just enough to encumber myself. I love it. Wonderful. Alright, let's go ahead and head over here. And I forgot the pillars. Genius. Um... That's okay. We can place a few more of these uh, and then go back for those. They should still snap relatively well. And I'm 
probably going to need more glass walls very soon. With how tall I'm making this. But it has to be this tall or the UDs won't fit. Um, basically, I need a roof very similar to the one I have over there where I just have a lot of height going. Otherwise, the, the creatures I'm trying to raise will not fit in here very well. All right, yeah, I need a lot more glass walls. I hope I have enough mats for it. If not, um, this may be a two-part build, but it's going to be great once it's finished. Super hyped about this. Uh, we'll just make all those. Well, where's my small pillars? There they are. Take those. Okay. Um, let's do this and let's place the gate. <laughs> so glad I have RGs. Oh my gosh, they make life easier. Okay. There we go. Finish off these four high pillars. Very nice. Looks good. Um, okay. And then I'm going to grab these items here for now. Let's go ahead and put the gate in place. That's going to be a bit of a trick. Getting it to be relatively even. Okay. I don't hate that placement. I think it could be slightly better. Let me see. I want to give myself, like, more room. Let's actually do, like, this number. Let's try to line it up here. There, that way it's more of a straight entrance. Um, I'm probably going to put wood walls on that side of it to make it filled out a little bit, but I think that will work for me. Yeah, I think that works for me. I like it. Manual. Ugh. I hate having a gate that isn't manual. It's terrible. Auto gates are useful about 2% of the time. Otherwise, they're just annoying. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Progress has been made. It's coming together now. Now that I've kind of decided on a design. Yeah, the windows are a little big, but I don't think they're so big that I can't stand it. So I'm going to call that good. Uh, let's do this. This Baryonyx is rather in the way. I'm just going to pop him over here real quick. Okay, so I need a few wooden walls. Let's see, do I have any built? I do. Excellent. Ten's probably too many, but it's fine. That's a lot of walls. Okay. Eh. I can't quite reach them. There we go. Hold those for me, will ya? Alright, and then once we have those, what else are we gonna need over there? I think wooden walls, I have glass walls. I'm gonna start needing these wood triangle roofs, so I wonder if I can take all of these. Are we gonna be weighed down on the bird? Barely. Just barely. But I do want to use um, wood triangle roofs on this. I want to make a roof very similar to the roof on the main building. Um, not as pointed as the one on the guardhouse, but more like that. I think it's the way. I think I have a problem. I like building with greenhouse structures way too much. That's too many. There we go. Alright, let's finish putting in the walls real quick. Alright, that looks good. Uh, now we need to go ahead and put in these wooden walls that I brought over. Looks like we just managed to bring enough of these. Actually, I'm going to put those here. Um, what's the best way to snap these? Honestly, I don't 100% know.
kind of want them to be straight, but I don't know if they will be. Here, let's do this. And I literally can't snap it straight. Literally cannot snap it straight. It's going to make me angry. Why? Why won't it do it? Hold up. Is there... Yes. Oh. Oh. Hold it off. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Gorgeous. Love it. Love the way it looks. Love the vibe. I think that looks great. That's actually solidly buried in rock, so I think we're okay there. All right. Um, so far, so good. Now it's time for the actual uh, roof line, which is nine times out of ten the most annoying part of a build. So let's go ahead and give ourselves as much of a platform as we can. Can we huh. please snap correctly? I hate you so much, game. So much. Oh, I hate it so much. It hates me too, I'm pretty sure. Alright, well that's a start anyway. <laughs> I don't know if I can land on one of these, but I'm gonna have to try. Got it. And then... There we go. Once I get... A little more space going. Okay. Now that I have a little space here, I should be able to start actually doing some good work with this build. I'm actually very grateful that this is working as well as it is with a bird. I don't think I've ever had this much luck with a build, uh, a roof build like this. Alright, um, do I want it two, three tall? How tall is this one? Yeah. Three tall. That's about right. Yeah, I think that's the right height. We... It is getting a little dark. I may take a break while I, uh, work on the roof, roof line here, guys, and bring you guys back when it's done. Because, uh, we are making good progress here, and this is just, uh, the more tedious part of the work, and it's about to be super dark, so I'll bring you guys back in a little bit here. Alright, guys, so the roof is officially done. It's starting to come together here. Um, let's go ahead and, actually, I should probably put these on the RG here because I want to do a roof very similar to the one I have on the workshop where I have the little like step up with the greenhouse walls so I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab those um depending on how many we have left do I have any left or did I run out no I have five I don't think five is quite gonna cut it um Let's go ahead and see what I can do here. Uh, oh, I have enough to make plenty now. Um, let's just make like 20 of those. All right. So let's go place these five. And probably the wood walls too. Fingers crossed that this works out. I have so many hopes for this uh, particular build. All right. And then the interior should be rather interesting too once I get there. Uh, come here. I'm going to use these. Oh, they're not going to snap here. How did I get them to do that in the first place? I think I used a different sloped ceiling. Um, oh, the struggle's real. Okay. I am not 100% sure how I'm going to manage this. I think what I may need to do is something like this. Let's see. Let's Right about here. Yeah, right about there. Cool. Um, yeah, this will work. 
Once I get it up there, it should work. I just need to... I was, like, forgetting completely how I actually managed to make this build work. Sometimes the snaps are a little weird. You have to do them in kind of a random order. But we should be able to manage it. Uh, here we go. Let's grab these so that we can continue this. Yeah. And then hopefully once I get a little bit of it in here, it'll be easier to snap in. Eh, okay, I can't quite reach. I'm gonna have to do this from the roof. Up here. Ooh, that was a little close. All right, awesome. Okay, so that's that. So now I should be able to do a thing here with the ceilings. Uh, there we go. And then if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to snap these down from the top of these. Yeah. Awesome. That works. Beautiful. Okay. So, a little tricky, but now that we've got it started, we should be able to get going on this bit. Hopefully it all comes out looking okay. Alright, let's go ahead and pick all these up. Very nice. All right, things are slowly coming together, I think. Um, not the fastest build in the world. It's definitely taken me quite some time. The sloped triangle roofs are always a bit of a pain. I think this is good. If I'm not mistaken, I should be on the right path here. Okay. Um, eh. no, 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 land right, there you go. Okay, I think this is okay. I think this is okay. Beautiful, we're getting there. It's gonna take a little bit, but, um, this build will eventually get finished. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh my goodness, there's so much to do here. Forgot just how complicated this build could be. Um, I do love it, but it is something else. All right, and then let's see if we can't get this to snap correctly. Very nice. Just barely, barely manages to finish that off. All right, let's go underneath the bird. And we'll build out this way. I think this is definitely the way to go. Rather than trying to stand up top for now. This makes things a little easier. All right, and then let's go back to these. I'm actually gonna just switch them out so it's easier. I may need more glass walls, but we are getting there. It won't be many more. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, looking beautiful. I actually really like it. Um, we have a little bit more that we need to craft here. Just barely didn't have enough of the wooden ones so far. I'm probably gonna need a few more wooden ones in the long run because um, the plan is to add a skylight in here because I have a skylight on this one and I actually really like the way it looks. So I'm gonna do a similar sort of shape on this guy and then fill in the rest with um, the wooden triangle ceiling. So I'm gonna need a lot more wood triangle ceilings, but so far, not bad guys. It's coming together. This is gonna be a huge hatchery building. I'm basically planning on, I don't know, sort of building like a line of, uh, you know, air conditioners basically up top. I think I'm gonna build like a little series of shelves just under, just right here at the roof line. Um, and then I'm going to have a bunch of the uh, dino storage things here in the center to pick up all of the babies and uh, hitching posts all around the outside edge should be good should be a lot um, a 
fair amount of work to get it done, but I think it's going to be really good when it does. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the roof. Um, and I'll just bring you guys back when the roof is done and we are ready to start setting up the inside just to save a little bit of time here. All right, guys. So here we go. Um, finally got a little bit more of this build done. I think it looks pretty good. Um, ceiling. Oh, I forgot to fill those in, but that's okay. That's minor. Um, added a second row of skylights to it because I thought it would look cool. Um, I did go ahead and add this shelf of triangle roofs here, which has given me sort of a shelf to put these AC units on. Um, they were not super easy to place, but we did manage it. And then there's just lights underneath it. So power's been strung out with internal wiring um, along the pathway here along the cliff and all the way around this building. I did go ahead and place these... Uh, triangle foundations here because what I want to do is um whoops wrong one I want to place these soul terminals here but I wanted to place like six of them but I wanted them to look cool so I think what I was going to do is disable snapping on them and then place them kind of dead center of these foundations and try to make them look uh relatively nice um, make them look something like that. That's a little bit off, but that's okay. We can fix that one if we want to. Um, yeah, and I think this is going to look good. That's kind of the idea is to make it look nice and different and unique. Um, kind of give me a little bit of a platform for all these baby dino collecting units that I have here. I absolutely love the uh, Dino Storage mod. It is wonderful. These these soul terminals are super useful, and this is going to make me uh, be able to pick up a lot more eggs once I get all these placed and running. And I think I'm probably going to move both the Rexes and the Udis in here to start breeding just because this is going to make it so much easier. There we go. Um, that one's sticking out a little. They're all sticking out a little except for these two. So I am going to go ahead and pick these up and replace them so that they actually look good. Just want them to be right about ah, right there. Yeah, right about there. Perfect. Okay. So once I get this one placed, Beautiful. Excellent. Um, yeah, and so I don't know why, but these AC units that are S+, plus, they have like an incredible range. I've dropped Rex eggs all over here trying to make sure that I didn't need to put AC units down underneath the floors or anything. Looks like it's all going to work out fine. So really all I need to do is put those last few roof pieces in, put some hitching posts in, and uh, bring the dinos over. Whoa, a little bit of rubber banding. All right, let's go ahead and head off. I want to go ahead and grab a couple of hitching posts. Ah. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and search for hitching posts. Eh, I can do it. I can type, I promise. All right. So I'm just going to grab, like, materials for five of these right now. There we go. Go ahead and make all of those. And then what was the other thing I was going to make? I already forgot. Oh, I needed those ceilings. Right. Uh, uh, there we go. Cool. All right. So this is my new Rex who's got a new health mutation on him. So we're going to take him and we're going to take these. Uh, you can stay there for the time being. But I'm basically going to move um, a small chunk of my breeding operation. Mostly all of the, like, Rexes and Udis. Things that I'm going to use for boss fights are all going to go in the hatchery. Um... Potentially even Argentavis, because we have just so many soul terminals in here. It's going to be so much easier to grab everything. I might even try to put, like, a cool uh, trophy in here. Just to make it look really nice. No reason not to. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this guy. All of his lovely mutations on him. Uh, where do I want him to go? Let's go ahead and put him over here.
forgot how big they were. Okay, cool. Me. And you. Beautiful. Alright, so the Rexes are huge, but eh, it works. Um, okay, let's go ahead and grab one of these. Where do I want this to go? Let's see, what's like dead center of this wall? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and hitch dinos. Beautiful. Everybody's hitched up. Let's go ahead and enable wandering on these guys. Excellent. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate this. I'm going to put in a bunch of soul traps. Um, And then options. Ah! Options, newborn auto trap. There we go. Enable. Um, there we go. Newborn trap active. So that's what I want to do for all of these is enable the newborn trap so that they will do that. I'm going to have to make some more soul traps as well, but um, it shouldn't be too terribly difficult to do that. But this is going to make it so, so much easier to do breeding. Um, I'll be able to just produce so many more, so many more baby dinos, which is going to make finding mutations a heck of a lot uh, quicker and easier. So that's kind of the plan here. I'm really enjoying this so far. I think the hatchery looks amazing. Yeah, I think the hatchery looks amazing. We've got the Rexes going. Uh, now I just need to get the UDs going and maybe even put some RGs in here and keep breeding my RGs because I really could use more stamina on these guys now that they've uh, now that they've allowed us to level up movement speed again. Um, I took classic flyers off and the stats are just so much less than I want them to be. So definitely could do some good breeding on RGs as well. But I think this is uh, going to make it really good. So let's go ahead and put the last few roof pieces on here. Because that is the last thing to do. That's going to bother me. That's going to bother me. I will come back with a wooden roof for that. But yeah, guys. Um, go ahead and take a good look at it. It is so much more complete. It has been absolutely insane trying to get this thing together. It's been a lot of work, but I do think it has absolutely been worth it. So yeah, guys, I do actually think that that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. So if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, guys, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.